Hey guys, hello and welcome to the Team USMLE Sarthi. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is the approach of taking the USMLE step one after it becomes pass fail. So before we start the video, let me give you my introduction. My name is Dr. Swarov Sudan and uh, yeah, I passed the USMLE step one recently in my first attempt and I got a score of like 234. So in this video, we are going to take like certain points like what can be the ideal duration time what can be the resources and what can be the overall strategy that has to be followed after the step one it becomes pass fail like which is going to be on like 26th of january onwards so before you know we dive deep into video let's discuss something about like current usmle scenario like what is the current scenario so currently those who are preparing for USMLE step one and are taking the step exam before Jan 26, they will be getting a numeric score. And you know, the numeric score is like we have 194, which is a passing score. And uh, you know, you get a score, which is like 230, 240, 250 or 260, something like that. And uh, if I talk about the Jan 26, like post Jan 26 scenario, it will be something like we will be getting a pass or fail. Like previously, we used to get in USMLE step 2 CS, but now in USMLE step 1, we will be getting a simple pass fail. So no matter if you score 195 or if you score like 260, you are just getting a pass or fail uh, thing. So the purpose of this video is to, you know, uh, discuss about ideal duration time like what should be the ideal duration for preparing for USMLE step one second resources and number third what should be the overall strategy like what to follow but not to follow that would, would be covered in this video so let's take on the duration like what should be the duration of USMLE step one preparation if we talk about the current scenario, like, you know, when I used to prepare for my USMLE step one, I took like six months and most of the IMGs, they take anywhere between six to eight months for preparing for the USMLE step one in this scenario, like in pass fail scenario before Jan 26. But you know, after Jan 26, we have to keep other things in our mind. Like we have to keep in mind, like we have to build our CV. We have to keep in our mind that we have to go for the electives. So we, we don't want to invest like, like uh, more than required time in the USMLE step one preparation. For that, I would suggest that, or rather our team would suggest that we have to, you know, take the step one in like two to four months. And this two to four months would be the ideal time to take the USMLE step one. So that after, you know, taking it and uh, ensuring that you pass the step exam in your first attempt, you can focus on other things like step two prep, your university exams, which would be going side by side, your CV building, your research and other things so that, you know, you can have a overall, overall good profile. Number second is, you know, what are the resources that you should be used for preparing for the USMLE step one. So earlier when it used to be, you know, numeric or currently when it is numeric, actually, uh, there are so many resources like you have, like if we talk about even biochemistry, we have like Pixorize, we have first aid, we have Kaplan's for micro, we have sketchy, we have, you know, first aid, we have clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple and stuff like that. So there are so many resources and uh, uh, students, including me, they used to, you know, consult multiple resources, even Anki and stuff like that, so that we leave no stone upturned. Uh, before you know taking the uh, step exam but in this current scenario like after it becomes pass fail we have to ensure that we stick to minimum resources so that we can we give minimum amount of time and we can you know easily pass the exam so regarding the resources i would suggest that you have always to stick with the resources that everyone use in the dedicated period which are the ufap the u world first aid and pathoma these are the resources which have to be you know used now if i talk about you know what strategy like what should we you know do while we are in our dedicated phase for you know USMLE step one how should our approach be like so I would recommend that, you know, you should first master the first aid, you know, mastering the first aid is very, very crucial. And uh, I can, you know, assure you, even I can uh, like guarantee you that if you 
uh, go on reading first aid in a very you know very um, like uh, a religious manner or you know holistically you if you review the first aid you are going to ace the exam very easily because you know even people they used to get like 250s 260s only you know referring to first aid and you world and this is matter of you know passing the exam so i can assure you that if you read the first aid properly you are going to pass the exam very easily so the idea should be in your dedicated like let's say you have you know given yourself a time slot of like 2 to 4 months you should start from first aid you should start reading first aid and you know like there are some sections of the first aid which need to be you know augmented with other books like for example if i talk about pathology if you have time like if you have like good amount of time between those 2 to 4 months like you are a holy solely you know into this usmle step 1 preparation i would say that you can augment the pathology part with pathoma if i talk about the physiology part of you know first aid uh the physiology is written in a very nice and concise manner in the first aid and uh, that is what is to be asked you know in the usmle step for examination but there are some sections of physiology like you know uh cardiology i would say cardiovascular physiology and uh, renal physiology which are you know a little bit trickier and if you uh, need uh, some kind of consultation you can refer to boards and beyond it is really a good resource but i would suggest that you should only restrict yourself to reading physiology of cardiovascular system and renal from that boards and beyond resource now if i talk about microbiology if uh, uh you are not a audio uh, or you know you know you are not a visual audio visual learner you just stick to um, uh, first aid but if you find audio visual uh, things and you have been learning like that you can you know refer to sketchy micro and for that i would say that forget first aid just go and read from sketchy micro and you know sketchy micro will cover all the uh, microbiology part that has to be you know that is going to be asked in your usmle step one examination so we are done with pathology we are done with physiology we are done with uh, microbiology regarding anatomy anatomy is going to be asked straight forward from the uh your first aid whatever the ct images whatever the x rays are given in the first aid make sure that you go through them in a very good manner and also consult the google images for that this is the anatomy part regarding the biochemistry it would be asked from you know your first aid you you need to you know review first aid only for that thing no need to you know consult other resources okay if we talk about you know other things like pharma only first aid if we talk about biostats and epidemiology i would suggest a youtube channel by the name of dr randy neil he has you know taught biochemistry uh, biostatistics in a very nice manner and i would recommend that you should uh, watch uh, his videos if you are new to this biostatistics part and um, yeah remaining things are like uh, we have covered path we have covered farm we have covered micro we have covered uh, biochemistry we have covered anatomy we have covered physiology and uh, yeah this is what it is if we talk about the first aid now now comes a very important part which is the u world obviously your preparation has to be you know augmented by a solid q bank and what else then u world for you know uh, preparing for the usmle step 1 you world is really a gold standard resource and uh, currently as uh, i am preparing for my step 2 you world is the only resource for step 2 actually so but for your usmle step 1 you have to you know really augment your first aid with you world and what should be the strategy of you know solving the u world question like how should one approach the u world while he is you know reading from the first aid i would you know give you a really uh, nice uh, approach which i followed and it worked for me i would say that you know let's say you are, you are in your dedicated and you are done with two chapters let's say cardiovascular system and endocrine you have done now i would say that okay now go and buy the u world once you buy the u world always approach it in during your first part approach it in a tutor mode and also approach it in a very systemic manner like you have done the cardiovascular pathology go to cardiovascular pathology section of you know u world when you go to cardiovascular you expand it you will get pathology pharmacology anatomy and stuff like that 
select the pathology part and now you know now just do the questions from pathology and review them again from first aid like what went wrong were you lacking the information or your concepts were not good or was there any kind of doubt in your concept the way you understood them that is how you approach the u world and the overall strategy would be like going through the u world simultaneously you know reading from the first aid going through the u world and you know just taking two to three months and you know covering the first pass of the u world that is how you do it okay after like let's say you know after three and a half months let's say after three and a half months you are done with your u world i would say that this is the time that you should dedicate because you should know that you are you know you are just uh giving this exam to pass it there there will be no score so there is uh there is no no such thing that you are getting 62 percent in your first pass and you would you know be in disappear or any kind of stuff like that that no i i should prepare it again and no you you should not do like that just look at that uh like your first pass give the u world first assessment if you pass the exam you are good to go for the exam after like one or one and a half week give the u world self assessment second if you pass that you are good to go just go to exam pass the exam and you are done with your step one and you are ready to go to the other steps like step two and you know other things so this is the approach and a little bit in the end of the video i will just give an idea regarding how to you know uh, divide your day i would say that don't you know dwell on just one thing during your whole day divide it like let's say you know if you divide your day into three slots let's say first slot is from uh, 9 a.m in the morning till 2 in the afternoon give it to one subject let's say micro then from 2 to 8 give it to another subject let's say you know cardiovascular then from 8 to 9 let's say you have dinner or something like that from 9 to 12 or 1 whenever what whenever you like uh whenever is your time you know when you go to sleep so that time you can you know assign to some other subject so that is how you know you approach uh, the overall thing that is the first aid the u world and the overall strategy so this was all in today's video i hope that you like this video and we'll be coming with more videos like this like how to prepare for biochemistry how to prepare for immuno specifically and stuff like that so stay with us and if you have any question let us know in the comment section thank you so much